Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Google Chrome web browser for desktop, version 108, which started rolling out on the 29th of November, which once again was yesterday in my region. Now version 108, which is the latest stable release, brings and introduces a couple of new features to the browser and also is a very important security update as it fixes and addresses 28 different and various security issues in the desktop browser. Now, um, regarding the new features, before we have a quick look at the security updates, I would consider um, the new energy saver mode to be the key highlight, which has started rolling out now in Chrome version 108. And I actually posted on the performance page and the memory saver and the um, energy saver mode when it was still being tested in Chrome Canary. But just to do a quick recap for the purpose of this video. Um, to get to the feature, we just head to the menu in the top right, click on settings, and now you'll see um, on the left hand side of the settings menu performance. And if we click on that, there is now a performance memory saver and energy saver mode, which will help to save system resources in the Chrome web browser for desktop, as Google Chrome has been known in the past to be um, resource hungry. So this could help in that effect and in that regard to try and um, just save a bit of system resources while using the Chrome web browser on desktop. Now currently this is on a controlled rollout. As I'm only seeing this new feature on my Windows 11 a device after updating and not my Windows 10 device. And just to um, do a quick recap when it comes to the memory saver, this is toggled on by default and it says in the description when on Chrome frees up memory from from inactive tabs. So it's very similar to the sleeping tabs found in the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop. It carries on to say this gives active tabs and other tabs more computer resources and keeps Chrome fast. Your inactive tabs automatically become active again when you go back to them. And yeah, you can also keep certain sites active and you can add those um, to a list um, that you don't want those sites to go to sleep, so to speak, and keep those sites active. Then we get to the power menu, energy saver, which is also toggled on by default. The description reads, when on Chrome conserves battery power by limiting background activity and visual effects, such as smooth scrolling and video frame rates. And yeah, the default setting is turn on only when my battery is at 20% or lower. I've got it set to turn on when my computer is unplugged. Now, if you are not seeing the new performance section with the memory saver and the energy saver mode in version 108 after upgrading. You can enable this feature using an experimental flag in the stable version now. And to do this, we just head to the Omnibox, the address bar, and we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, just type in battery saver. And that will bring up the relevant flag, which is called enable the battery saver mode feature in the settings. And the description for the flag reads, when enabled, shows the battery section in the performance settings page as mentioned. And then you would just change that to enabled. And then you would have to restart Google Chrome version 108 to apply that flag. And then you will get that performance memory saver, energy saver mode in Google Chrome if you're not seeing it enabled by default after updating. So that's the new performance section with the memory saver and energy saver mode now rolling out in Google Chrome version 108. Now, a couple of other um, new features, just to make quick mention of these, is back when Google rolled out Chrome version 98, they introduced new color gradient vector fonts. Now in Chrome version 108, 10 versions later, um, websites can now detect which font formats are supported by the browser. And um, if there is support for the uh, color gradient vector fonts, um, they will be detected and then the browser will display higher quality emoji and emojis in the browser. So that's new color gradient vector fonts now, which have got more support and have more support added now in version 108. Now, if you are using Chrome on Android and a mobile device, there's also now options to resize uh, virtual keyboards. And another um, update that's rolled out for um, Chrome on Android, if you are interested, is that there is a new redesigned Omnibox now for Material Design 3. So there's a bit of Material U designs rolling out now for the Omnibox for Chrome on Android. Now, over and above that, just um, as mentioned, that's just a couple of the new features. Um, if we just head to the um, platform status page, um, for Chrome version 108, um, it lists mainly behind the scenes changes, so to speak, that would mainly be of interest and affect web developers. So I've just kind of mentioned a couple of the 
key highlights for you today in this video that most home users would be interested in but what i'll do is i'll leave a link to the description to this chrome platform status so if you are interested you can just come up and check a little bit more in depth as to some of those behind the scenes and under the hood changes that google has rolled out um, for version 108 mainly for developers if you are interested now i'm um, just to head over and mention now the all important security updates that have rolled out for Google Chrome version 108. There are a total of 28 security fixes, so it's very important to double check that your browser is up to date. And we head to the menu help about Google Chrome to do this. And the latest version and build after this update has been applied is 108.0.5359.72. And this is now the latest stable release that you need to have to um, have, have the new features that I've mentioned in this video and to receive these all important 28 security fixes. Now, just to mention these security fixes, there are a total of 28 and there are eight high risk severity vulnerabilities that have been addressed. And high risk is your second after a critical vulnerability. So very important to double check that your browser is up to date as mentioned. Then um, just to mention um, the high risk vulnerabilities, those are mainly use after free, which is a common exploit in the Chromium based web browsers. But there are a couple of type confusion in V8. And um, there's a use after free in camera. So that's affecting the camera. Out of bounds right in Lacrosse. Use after free in extensions. So that's a vulnerability affecting extensions. Use after free in Mojo. Use after free in audio. So there, that's a, a vulnerability affecting the audio in the browser. Use after free in Mojo. And the last high risk vulnerability used after free in forms. And then we've got a couple of medium um, flaws and then a couple of low and mainly um, eight high risk vulnerabilities have been addressed, 28 security vulnerabilities in total. So just double check your browser is up to date as this is a very important security update that has rolled out. Now, if you are interested, the next stable release, Chrome version 109, will be made available next month on the 10th of January, 2023. So this will be the first version of Chrome rolling out in the new year next year 2023 if you are interested and that's more or less what's new in chrome version 108 and i would consider that new energy saver performance page and those energy saver modes and battery saver modes to be the key highlight i would consider to be for version 108 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one